Hi everybody, Jania with more Mars anomalies. Have we found water seeping up through the Martian surface in Maunder Crater? This is a look at this uh, strange phenomena in color. And the high-rise photograph we'll be analyzing is called Searching for Slope Features. I'll include the link below. Acquired on the 19th of November 2018 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel. And the image we're looking at will be the RGB color non-map projected file. This is a crop from the low-res JPEG. And we're looking at uh, this color strip running through the middle and specifically in this area of here. Located 49 degrees 46 minutes south, 1 degree 56 minutes east very close to Asimov crater or the circular depression. We'll have a look at the area towards the end of the video. The area we're analyzing is located here in this darker area. And the high-rise photograph we're analyzing hasn't been loaded yet. So let's check it out. Here are the uh, anomalies we're checking out. And uh, this is zoomed out, so it's not to scale. We'll be looking at this strange phenomenon over here, up close. And uh, yeah, you can see the boulders, rocks or slabs, with these very dark streaks running through them. And uh, if you look at this up close, these uh, streaks are about uh, 10 to 25 meters long very narrow thin and uh, they seem to be running out or emanating from these uh, boulders or rocks running down the slope and um, i think it's nasa that says this is nothing more than uh, darker surface material that's being exposed but um, I've got a bit of an issue with that I don't think uh, they're totally accurate and uh, these streaks look more like um, the sand that's being darkened due to some water or brine seeping up through the surface check out clean these uh, boulders and rocks are definitely looks as if something is going on in this area and uh, yeah too you can see these uh, darker streaks and uh, interestingly none of the other surrounding area have these dark streaks or darker soil exposed so why would it only be in uh, these areas so we're looking at this part of the photograph and up close you can see where uh, these dark streaks start check at that coming uh, from underneath this partially buried slab over here there too we can see it coming from uh, underneath these you can see them running down, splitting up into two. Very typical of um, liquid. I speculate this may be um, brine. It hasn't uh, frozen. Check at this. Also zoomed out. It looks as if there was once a river that flowed through this area. Check out this slab, very straight edge, it's about uh, 25 to 30 meters long, light blue color, very clean and uh, also emanating from underneath it we've got these dark streaks, so I'm not sure how this can be uh, soil that's been blown away or somehow it 
due to some geology leaving these dark streaks exposing darker material underneath. Looks more like sand that's uh, got water in it. That's why we've got this darker color check there as well. This is a very good example of it. Why don't we see streaks like that all over? I speculate we're looking at uh, water seeping up. I don't know what you guys and girls make of this. Please let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with NASA's assessment that this is just um, soil that's being exposed, that's got a darker color? Check out this. As a matter of fact, yeah, we've got a lighter color. So this area that's being exposed doesn't look darker at all. It looks more like it's got some moisture in it. Hence the darker color. Look at this too. Multiple streaks. Some of them are up to 50 meters long. And again, the boulders and rocks are very clean. Very much like um, those that we find on Earth near rivers. It's almost like a, it could be some type of uh, marble. Doesn't look like um, clay that's dried out and become these rocks. These look more like um, natural stones or rocks, probably formed from a type of a clay. Check it, this as well down here. Whereas these look more like um, marble. And then uh, in Elysium Planitia, near the inside lander, also found these dark streaks. Check it, this one, it's about 40 meters long, running down the side of the slope and branching out as it gets to the bottom over there. And then, yeah, in this region of the photograph, another one of these streaks. What's that, about 60 meters long? It looks like moisture or liquid seeping up to the surface and then running down, changing the color of the sand. So let's have a look at this area in Google Earth Mars. Going down to Asimov, which is right there. And uh, this is the area of interest. I say the high rise photograph hasn't been loaded yet. Let's have a look at uh, some of the other anomalies in Asimov. Massive megalith, 75 meters long, 33 meters wide. What looked like retaining walls made of these massive big blocks has been dislodged, rolled down the slopes and uh, my friend and I speculate it may have been uh, a lot of water around Asimov, hence the what looked like retaining walls, these big blocks. So let's switch on uh, the CTX mosaic. So uh, the topography of the area. That concludes the video. I hope you found it informative and interesting. I look forward to reading your comments. Do stay tuned. I'll be back soon with more. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.